Hello, photography three and four. Um, I wanted to show this to you uh, as sort of a mini challenge. Um, if we were in class like normal, I'd be having you do some in-class projects, and obviously things have changed a bit. Most of those challenges require either special equipment or special software, so I felt like this is something that you can do uh, that won't really take a whole lot of time and be kind of fun, and oh, who knows, you might really uh, might really get into this. Um this is about making 3D images from your own images. Um, and the way I'm going to have you share it with me ultimately is through an animated GIF, GIF, however you want to say that. Um, this is the website. If you just Google Depthy, um, it should come up, but it's depthy.me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a photo. I think I might have even shown this to you um, in class at one point. Here, we'll do this silo. Um, but I didn't actually have you do it. So now, now you'll get to experiment with this. And if you notice here, it says the image is flat as a pancake. Um, that's because, well... There's no depth map that goes with this, so we're going to have to make one. Now, where it says load depth map, don't do that, but you could actually create your own depth map, like in Photoshop or Photop. but I figure that's, well, maybe a little bit tedious right now for you, so I'm just going to draw it directly in the, um, in the website here. So we'll go ahead and click Draw It. And then on the side here, you have these options. Um, you can set whether your brush is going to be painting it near or far. You can set the size of the brush. You can set um, the edges and how soft or hard those are. And then you can adjust whether it's more transparent or more opaque. So I'm going to set it to near first. And then let's just leave that alone. And then what you're basically doing is anywhere that you're painting, the darker parts are going to end up being closer to you. You're kind of making a map. Let's go a little bit larger with that brush. Ooh, that, that jumped quite a bit bigger. And by the way, this is a picture inside of a silo. I um, took this a few years back. I thought it was kind of cool the way the lighting worked with it. There are these like holes that are alongside um, the silo. I don't know exactly what they're for to like maybe um, aerate the grain. Um, I don't know much about farming, I guess, but um, it made a cool pattern of light. And I love this kind of bendy um, ladder going up to the top. Okay, so I have that pretty much plotted out. Let me get this area here just a little darker. And like I said, what you could do in Photoshop if you wanted to or Photop, whatever you're using, you could just get like a blank white canvas. It's got to be the same proportions as your photos. So when you make it, you want to make sure you're planning it that way. And then you can just use a brush tool and do the same kind of thing. This is kind of nice the way they have this set up for you. Okay, so I have my close area figured out. Let's move here, maybe getting a little bit closer. Sorry, further away. And now that's more of a gray brush versus that black brush that we had before. Well, that's about right, I think. And then let's go a little bit further. Now, if you kind of mess up an area, like already I can see that I'm not quite getting the angle right on the silo. You could just color back over your lines or you can click undo, no big deal. And let's set our far area. That's far away right there. Way back in the distance. Okay, well, let's see how that looks. We'll click finish. Oh, we'll look at that. That's interesting, look at that. It really does look dimensional. How fun is that? 
Um, okay, so there's some different ways of saving this. Now, if you test it out like this, you decide you don't like it, you can click this to go back to your drawing. Um, in here, there's info about your picture, so you can save your depth map if you like to use it again in the, in the future, or you can load your own. And then these are some settings for um, making more of like an animated GIF. Um, and you can click, oh, I want it to be more calm, or maybe you want more dramatic so it moves a lot faster. Um, you can set like the distance. Well, that's really intense. Or far. So you're moving that. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, what makes more sense? Yeah, I think to have the moving point. Well, let's try it. Try it this way again. Well, that doesn't really make sense. Let's try that. Well, that's like a wobbly. You know what? That probably actually uh, that probably works the best. And then you can click hypnotize, which will do it by itself. That is so strange. Or we can go vertical with it. That's like so. That's really uh, <laughs> that's really convincing. Uh, circular. Wow. Oh, wow. These are fun. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click. Okay. And then we have to save this. So, um, if you go back into that area where it had the little here, let me click it again. If you go back into this area here where you have that little link. Um, we're going to share it. Now you've got some options. No need to do it this way. The PNG or the uh, JPEG, um, that's not really going to do much for you. Now, if you create an anaglyph, that's going to make it like red blue responsive, you know, like using eyeglasses. See, but here's the problem. I don't have that. So we're going to need to do it as an animated GIF. So let me click this. And then you can decide like how big or small it is. Um, you can customize it. If I customize it, it brings back that screen again. And then it looks good. So I'm going to click go for it. And it's going to take a little bit to finish it for you. So basically what will happen is it'll you'll download this animated GIF. So it'll be like a little video. Um, some software struggles a little bit with um, um, playing those GIFs, 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 oh, I don't know. Um, but if you open it up in your web browser, you can see it. So you can play it inside of a web browser. So let me show you what that looks like. I made one in the past of a hot sauce bottle. All I've got to do is drag it in here and it will play it. Oh, wow. Look at that. And um, this is what I'd like you to share with me in the remote learning assignment today. Um, just create a, maybe a few of these. I mean, they're really easy to do and they're fun to play with. Um, and then share it with me through Canvas.